Hi. Like, see, like, Coco Fix, there was a problem removing this iPhone from your account on iPhone. Are you getting there was a problem removing this uh, iPhone from your account while sign out from Apple ID? We live in a smartphone world, and Apple is one of the most well known brands on this planet and one of the most widely used products. There's no wonder why people fall in love with their iPhones and want them to last. However, despite its fantastic technology, you must remove your iPhone from your account cloud when you want to change or give away your iPhone. When you try to sign out of your Apple ID, you get the following error message could not sign out there was a problem removing this iphone from your account pricing account in this particular video we will look at some of these problems and see how apple is responding to these devices let's see like what causes there was a problem removing this iphone from your account okay so whenever you get a error you will see the screen like this could not sign out there is a problem removing this iphone from your account error records when you have when you have a network issue your phone your iphone might have any software glitches or your id profile is grayed out here are the possible reasons why you unable to remove your iphone from your iCloud network error forgotten your password something went wrong with your iphone settings verification failed and unable to connect with the icloud let's see like how to fix there was a problem removing this iphone from your account in your iphone most of the time you can sign out uh, your iphone from troubleshooting following network errors the first method is turn on and turn off your iphone network if you use the cellular network, turn off and turn on your network. If you are using a Wi-Fi network, try restarting your router. You can also try using the different cellular network to sign out from your account. If it doesn't work, then put your mobile on the airplane mode and then lock the device and wait for 30 seconds. Turn off your airplane mode and turn on your network connection. Now you can sign out and remove your iPhone from your account and the second method is reset your network settings in your iPhone resetting your network settings disconnects your iPhone from the Wi-Fi connections and removes say your password settings tap on general scroll down your screen to the bottom and tap on reset now tap on reset network settings now freshly connect to your Wi-Fi network and then try it if you could sign out from iCloud. Restart your iPhone device. That's the third method. Restart your iPhone to remove any communication glitches inside the device. Go to settings and then tap on the general. Scroll down and tap on the shutdown. Next swipe the power icon to the right to shut down your device wait for few seconds and then turn on your device again now you can sign out from your device successfully if it doesn't work force restart your iphone force restart your iphone manually power off it instead of shutting it down then remove your iphone from the account if you have already signed out from your iCloud using the browser and not reflected in the iphone Restarting your device will help you to update the account. The fourth method is disable the low power mode on your iPhone. A low power mode setting will restrict some programs from running since they consume more power. Disabling the low power mode helps your mobile to remove restrictions on any app and it will help you to remove your iPhone from your account. To disable low power mode, go to the settings, tap on general, find and tap on battery. Now turn off low power mode. If it is enabled once done, try to sign out from your iCloud. 
many users reported that they could sign out of your right load after disabling the low power mode the fifth method is make sure your iphone device is up to date if your iphone is not updated to the latest version the modules required to log out your iphone from your account may not work so update your device go to the settings tap on general tap on software update under the above section if an update is available then tap on the update to download the updates wait until the process completes and then try to remove your iphone from your account the sixth method is turn on your set automatically for date and time settings on your iphone time server plays a major role in any actions with the internet refresh your iphone automatic time and date option to restarting the time server to restart the time server go to the settings tap on general find and go to date and time turn off and turn on set automatically now try removing your iphone from your account the seventh method is check icloud backup settings on iphone if your device backup is in the process you cannot sign out from your account instead you get an error message you can't sign out your apple id because your phone is being restored to sign out you need to cancel the backup process or wait until the process is complete go to settings click on icloud toggle off icloud backup it is up to you whether you need to wait or click on stop restoring from the pop screen and the eighth method is check your screen time restrictions in your iphone screen time restrictions sometimes block the ability to sign out your iphone from your account so check and disable it it is, if the screen time restriction is on go to the settings tab on the screen time toggle off privacy and content restriction now any restriction by the screen time settings will be removed now you can remove your iphone successfully from your icloud account the ninth method is reset, reset all settings in your iphone if nothing in the above steps reset all your iphone settings it will refresh the entire phone settings remove the glitches technical glitches inside the device tap on general from the settings app tap on reset select reset all settings enter your phone password and then again tap on reset all settings from the pop-up screen now restart your mobile and try signing out from iCloud. the 10th method is factory reset your device if the error persists then factory reset your device ensure you have backed up all the data from your iphone since the option reset the entire os and then delete any installed app or the stored data from your iphone it also removes your id from your device after resetting either you can create a new apple id or and use the previous id to log in to factory reset your iphone go to the settings tap on general tap on transfer or reset iphone now tap on erase all date all content and settings from the screen after the factory reset your iphone will start and use the same or another apple id to activate your iphone while setting up you can only sign in to another account or head hand over your phone to someone go to someone if you can sign out your apple id on your iphone or ipad i hope you have finally fixed this particular error there was a problem removing this iphone from your account and your iphone using this technique so, okay so that's all about this thank you